Hey, Bob with Kaler's Reptiles and Aquatics. I almost said uh, Aquatics first there, but I've changed the title of my channel to Reptiles Before Aquatics, uh, since that uh, seems to be what I'm mostly doing videos on now, and still have 24 fish tanks and uh, some big tanks, uh, as, you, as you all know. Uh, and I still love fish, but uh, reptiles are, I'm five years in, and so that's the way I'm going right now with a lot of my time, and uh, I can do both of them and enjoy both of them, and hope that you also follow me and enjoy some of the reptile stuff. A lot of you do, but anyway, this is the um, pastel puma that I got at a, an event. Um, Oh, I guess it's been uh, six weeks ago now, maybe a little longer. But anyway, uh, something crazy with the light there. I'm not sure what's going on. She, uh, he laid four eggs a few weeks ago, and uh, but it was sold to me as a male, uh, so no big deal there. I'd rather have the female anyway. Uh, no idea what the eggs, uh, what that pairing was, but uh, three of the eggs she immediately threw out. Some of you know I tried to incubate them, but without an incubator, um, and I didn't want to invest in an incubator just then either. Um, and I think they had been left out for probably all day while I was gone volunteering at the ARC. So anyway, I tried, and they did not, uh, they weren't, they were viable. They, they were fertile, and they had embryos in them. And in fact, one, I think, had twins. It was elongated, and I could clearly, clearly see two embryos in it. But the one egg she has kept um, and incubated off and on, off and on, but more lately, more off. The egg, obviously, it was fertile as well, too, because I did candle it uh, while she was off of it briefly, right after, uh, I think, the day I found them. But it obviously is not viable now. And I've been seeing her off of it more and more and more, and she was off of it almost all day. Uh, there's a heating pad on low below her, so that's why she hangs there. Uh, it also may be the reason why the egg didn't make it because she's kept it right under her. So let's see if she is amenable uh, to me taking that egg out. Uh, I think it's kind of petrified at this point. Uh, just as a side note, she did eat. Uh, she took a mouse, a live mouse, uh, which I don't normally feed, but one of my snakes that has to have live mice uh, declined it one day, so uh, I didn't want to put it back in with the other mice. Um, those of you that keep mice know that they tend to fight if they've been out for a while, and I don't like all that, so I put it in here and went away for a little bit, came back, it was gone. So she did eat during this period. She's got some beautiful blue eyes. Um, so I don't know. She's, I'm not sure if she's in a position that she could strike me or not. But I'm going to find out. Uh, she needs some water young lady anyway. So that may be the ticket. If I had water here, I could just put some water in her bowl and see if she'd go over there. But uh, she does need to eat. She needs to gain some of her weight back. Um, you know, I was taking the snake out and holding it, uh, thinking it was a male, and socializing it. She's nice and warm there on live streams uh, for a couple weeks. And then uh, everybody would remark about how chunky he was. And then after she laid the eggs, she doesn't seem to be real defensive. Really nice and smooth there. Needs to get some weight back on her. Let me have that that slug. It's actually not a slug. Uh, she's thinking maybe not. She's thinking maybe not. Of course not hearing me, but all of us reptile keepers do that to some extent. I don't want to stress her out, but she really does need to come off of it. So, 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 so. I'm just going to move her over. And see, she's not even on it. It's actually over here. All right, so I didn't realize it was behind her there. So that's what it looks like. I'm sure everybody wants to know. It's just a dried up petrified egg. 
that might have been the little snake, the little embryo, because it did have one. I uh, checked all of them. So it's dry, it's hard, not viable. So I'm sure she's glad to have that out. And now we can think about where we're gonna put you in the reptile room. I'm gonna be moving some things around in there tonight. And by the way, I've decided to name her Dixie. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm just gonna call her Dixie. And this is a Puma Pastel. And very pretty snake. They can be kind of pricey depending on how the quality of them like, like most ball pythons. So I got her for 185 and I asked why she was so inexpensive and the guy that was helping me said the owner who was there but busy with another customer said he had uh, successfully paired the snake a couple of times as a male and so it had he had the genes that he wanted out of it and uh, the space was more valuable to him than keeping the male snake so they had a female that was holding and didn't know it somehow they did say they got it from somebody a collection from somebody else's collection it came in a group so so my win thanks guys long video but you know